somebody throws on the water, second class and jump to the outboard and cut the propeller off. Yeah. See that point, the far point there, the dark's right there. That far point? The far point is Kane's Island Light, yeah. And that's the open sea? Yeah. Okay, I would like to go there too. Yeah, uh, did you check how much gas do you have? Yeah, I got it. You got enough? You got lots. Okay, so let's go there. The first thing we did was take everybody out who was going to be on the, uh, the voyage, and they were a, a green crew and break them in. So to do this, we started off by conducting a series of very grueling zodiac exercises. Former whalers had warned us um, that in addition to the danger, of, the obvious danger of being blown apart by a 250 pound explosive harpoon, and the, and the danger of being run down or swamped by one of these large uh, factory ships or killer boats, there was also the very real danger that a, a wounded whale might decide to attack us simply because it couldn't get at the, at the larger whaling boats. So there were all those risks to consider. We left Vancouver, British Columbia on the 27th of April, 1975. 23,000 people came out to show their support. Three cheers for Greenpeace. You ready? Hell. They'd be riding the big ocean in a hollowed out shell They'd probably get seasick or they'd probably go blind They're probably on drugs or at least out of their minds Now what is a whale but a big hunk of flesh? Let's poke him, let's stab him, and steal his breath Let's shoot him, let's waste him, let's blood up the sea Till there's none of them left in the whole world to see From the log of the Greenpeace 5, May 3rd, 1975. We have now spent several days searching for the whaling fleets along the coast of British Columbia, following the advice of old fishermen who used to see the whalers out here in the past. We have been monitoring our radio day and night, hoping to pick up radio transmission from the whaling boats. Our crew is working out well enough, although some have been confined to their bunks recovering from seasickness. The ship's doctor reports that they are all expected to make the adjustment to life on board in the next few days. Come fellows, let's get on some big fancy ship And chase all them whales, there's money in this Come on boys, let's get them, let's dry up the sea They're made to be taken like women and trees From the ship's log, June the 2nd, 1975, we have now been searching for over a month, covering virtually all the positions where we expected to find the fleets. The ocean is far vaster than most of us had ever dreamed. Today, we came across an abandoned whaling station at a place called Rose Harbor in the Queen Charlotte Islands. The ruins here form a grim reminder that for the coastal whales, at any rate, we have come too late. Hey, 
how many crew members did we lose? One of the objectives of the expedition was to establish communication with the whales in their own environment. We had no idea how the whales would react. We could understand that from the whales' point of view, we're the same creatures that have been coming out after them in boats year after year for centuries, carrying spears and harpoons with anything but friendly intentions. from the ship's log, June 13, 1975. Information sent to us from overseas anti-whaling intelligence sources have provided exact positions of the fleets during previous years. If the patterns are repeated this year, the Japanese will now be at least 2,000 miles away in the mid-Pacific, but the Soviet fleet will be due south of us, just off the coast of Mendocino, California. The problem is the time is running out. Our strategy all along was to have a confrontation with the whalers before the IWC meeting, bringing as much pressure as possible to bear on them. We are now heading south as fast as we can. All the green pieces sailing, they're as crazy as hell. They'll be dodging harpoons and dancing on the swells. They go to save whales, at least that's what they said. Those folks will be lucky they don't come back dead. From the ship's log, June 23rd, our fourth day in the waters off Mendocino and still no sign of the whalers. We've run out of canned juice, coffee, vegetables, bread. Water is on ration and nobody's been able to...